Hey everybody, Eve here, and today this video is about a product that I did another review on a little over a year ago, and unfortunately I have to say I changed my mind. I was initially in love with this product, and now I'm going to call it for what it is. It's just a piece of crap. It's a piece of crap, and when you live tiny like I do, the last thing you want to purchase is a piece of crap, especially when it's a piece of crap that can actually mean the difference between life and death. And <laughs> no, I'm not being melodramatic. It's the truth. Uh, I ordered a Vornado Glide little space heater, and I'm going to link the other video underneath this video so that you can watch that because I gave it a glorious review. I'm absolutely in love with it as far as the way it looks. It looks gorgeous now. So unfortunately, out of, I can't tell you how many Vornado Glides I've purchased. I purchased one also for my uh, twin brother who also lives tiny just like me. And uh, during the winter, I live in what's called a two heater home, tiny home very tiny home. I'm 108 square feet and my brother lives in about the same size of square footage that he actually lives in. He lives in a bigger place than mine, but his square footage is comparable. But it gets so cold in Ohio that, and the insulation in both of our tiny homes is practically non-existent. And, um, well, it is what it is. Um, and as a result of that, we do. We do have to have two heaters. And even with two heaters running, with sub when the temperatures drop to sub-zero sub conditions, even then, I have to have an electric blanket and sometimes I have to stay in bed. I do. I have to stay in bed on certain days because it, it's just too cold. It's just too cold to get out and actually do anything. I'll get up, make my coffee, I'll cook my dinner. But for the most part, uh, and, I, and, I, and I don't want you to feel bad for me to feel sorry for me. I love the way I live. I'm just saying it has its challenges. And um, yeah, having a heater go out, this new Vornado Glide that they just sent me as a replacement, which is probably my third or fourth replacement, uh, I had to wait for this one several months also because it was out of stock. So, But don't get me wrong, the Vornado support people are amazing. I mean, it, they tell you just take a photograph of the of the heater, cut the power cord off of it, take a picture of the serial plate on it, we'll send you a replacement, no problem. And they do that, and they don't charge you a dime, so there's no sending it back. All you have to do is take a photograph of it. And if you live in a house and you have other sources of heating, have at it, order one. I'm just saying that people like me, whose lives depend on their heaters, and I mean, seriously, I mean, no, let me rephrase that. Obviously, I have a car. If, if, if I'm in sub-zero temperatures and one of my heaters goes out, both of my heaters goes out, or we have a power outage, me and my twin brother can get in our cars, we can hit the heater, we, we do have places we can go where we could be warm. So, yeah, would we die? Not necessarily. But I'm just saying, there's, there's other people, maybe much elderly, or maybe people that are somewhere out a little bit more remotely and doesn't have access or have other people that they could that they could fall back on that, that it could literally be uh, a matter of life or death so I'm I'm very sad to say this and because I love the Vornado company I love the Vornado products as far as how they look and but I didn't love the price I did pay more so for a heater that I paid more for I'm, I'm really quite disappointed, especially when they, you know, Walmart has $35, $40 range uh, heaters that actually outperform these, that, that I can, I can count on. And because they're so inexpensive, I can actually keep a couple, you know, as backups and then to fall back on. And that's what fortunately was my case also when this Vornado Glide went out. So to sum this all up, as painful as it is for me to say this, this particular Vornado Glide that I just received a couple of weeks ago, I have had to turn it on a couple of nights because even during the summer, and it's mid-August right now, uh, you know, it gets, we have cool nights, and I've had to turn the heater on, and it's the same thing. It just stops running. Um, if I turn it upside down, um, 
the company had a theory that maybe it's the you know the, the mechanism that if you bump them and they, or they get knocked over, there's a mechanism that shuts them off, and it's a safety feature. Well, this one is in a particular area in my home, which isn't even on the ground. It's it's never being bumped, and when I turn it on, it's, it's there's no reason for it to just automatically shut off. And when I realized it's shut off, I, I turn it upside down and maybe wait 10 minutes, and then it comes on again, and it runs 15 minutes. Sometimes it runs 15 hours. Sometimes, you know, I have no way of predicting how, how reliable this thing's going to be when it stops running. So, yeah, I hate to say it, Vornado, but I can no longer endorse the Vornado Glide. And I own another Vornado model, and it's the upright model. And believe it or not, that one I haven't had a problem with yet. But now I had purchased one from my brother, and it burned out. And in fact, two of them did. So... And, and Vornado replaced one of them. But on the second one, it's just like you get, even though it's not costing you anything to send them back and they replace them for you, seriously, I, I just want a heater that works. And I'd rather pay 35, 40 bucks for a small space heater that, that I can count on than constantly having to take photographs and, and wait on a replacement heater. That, by the way, takes several days to a week or more before you even receive them. So I hope you found this video helpful today, and sorry, Vornado, won't be buying any more of your heaters, space heaters, and it won't be. Uh, I mean, I hate t taking back everything I, that glowing review, but I just have to. So um, in the meantime, while you're here, thumbs up, comment on, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And while you're subscribing to my YouTube channel, Ring that notification bell for future video uploads. And may Christ bless each and every one of you most abundantly. And yeah, don't, don't buy the potato glide. You'll be sorry.